This has the best dress of any guest we've it's ever beautiful. had on the show. Uh, beautiful, she's beautiful. starring in Mirror, 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 blah, 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 blah. But Frank, <laughs> here's the cool thing about Lily Collins. Yes. Not only a published and respected columnist yes. in her own right, yes. but a proud uh, USC student for oh. a couple years. Oh, there we there go. You That's go. the tin bit that you love. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's awesome. I love uh, it. Congratulations Thank to you. All you. This stuff. So you've been kind of on both sides of it. You have reported have. on it, mm -hmm. and now you're doing it. It's very bizarre to be the one asked the questions. Now I'm constantly like <laughs> asking the reporter questions then and they're like wait this is about you not me <laughs> I'm like oh yeah that's right I forgot sorry so, so let's be really honest how incredibly mediocre is the state of entertainment journalism <laughs> it's, it's shockingly bad it's isn't so it? it's you know it's very gossipy yeah, yeah, I have to say. Isn't that the and truth? when I was interviewing, my whole thing was to stay away from that. So I lost out on tons of interviews because I refused to ask those questions. So now it's funny being on the other side when they, mm. I know that they're being told they have to ask it. And I'm trying to think of how do I get out of that? You know, and mm -hmm. I'm like being on the other side. It's very bizarre. It's kind of sometimes this puzzle. It's it like is a totally a dance. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. and you have to be like so polite, but at the same time, like, you know about that and <laughs> like shuffle it along. People in your exact seat have said those exact words to him. Really? <laughs> it's, it's always done with mirth. Um, all right. So here's one thing that I suppose people talked about. This notion of all of a sudden Snow White is red hot. Yeah. There's your movie, which seems to have kind of a, a light element to it. Definitely. Then another one a couple weeks away mm -hmm. that seems quite tough. Yeah. Why do you think Snow White um, resonating. Why is Snow White the it girl now? I think the obsession with beauty and especially with the Evil Queen's character, um, the lengths that she goes to for beauty treatments and the obsession with exterior beauty and physical beauty today with everything from plastic surgery to the crazy things that people do. Um, I think it's kind of a theme that resonates right now. Um, but also the idea of this girl that fights for what she believes in, the way that we change the movie is that she saves the prince as much as the prince saves her. Hmm. So I think, you know, young girls today are very feisty and they um, really kind of propel themselves forward and believe in themselves and young girls can do what boys can do. With the possible exception of me, Mark, and Frank, is Army Hammer the perfect man? He is the perfect <laughs> Prince Charming and he would hate to say Prince Charming because he, he wanted to make it so much more than just a pretty face. Right. Um, but he, he is that perfect mixture of being goofy and funny yet at the same time regal and so intellectual and just such a gentleman. We're just he's enjoying. Lad, isn't he's, he? He, he's so <laughs> yes, he's very good looking and his wife is beautiful and they're such a such an awesome couple. They're we were just enjoying it. your sword fighting on screen. Oh, there. well thank that you. That must have been a fun I mean every little girl played fairy tale growing right. up. So I'm yeah. sure that was no exception for you. No, I I used to run around the countryside in England pretending that I was in one and <laughs> I just I loved everything about fairy tales. I still do. Yeah. I, there's something that about them that just takes you to a whole new world and you just kind of live in that fantasy world for a little mm. while and sword fighting was something I never thought I'd get to do. And, I and trained for a long time for that. And, and, and did, did you get proficient at it? You know, I, I felt like I, I learned a lot and I could definitely hold my own with a sword now. Army and I had a lot of fun, lots of bumps and bruises. <laughs> Ooh. But I Is mean, it beret, beret of, right? Sorry? What's the phrase that you, when you, oh, well, it's on guard. Oh, on guard, right, yeah. On guard. I mean, there are so, so many, di right. you know, there are so many different hats. Hat. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I don't wear a beret when Shuffle. I'm fighting. Shuffle. 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 Let's look at a clip. Sam uh, didn't do so many oh, I, Here's a clip. Or maybe not. Okay, I guess I was just kidding. Oh, there. You? You. You're here? I, I am. I'm, I'm here, but you're the prince. So what are you doing in the palace? Um, I live here. I have for a while, actually. I'm kind of the princess. What? You didn't tell me that. Well, you never told me you were a prince. Oh. Well, I feared I looked ridiculous. Said the prince in the bunny hat. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be changing? Yes, I believe so. Oh, oh. Ah, sorry. Ah, 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 I'm so sorry. Ah. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Fell into his strong arms. <laughs> what was that like? Oh. You love Army, don't you? He does. We he all does. love Army. Um, no, he he. Like I said, he's such a gentleman. And um, every time I looked like I was going to trip or fall, he'd always be like, "Are you okay?" You know, I always felt very protected because Army was very much the prince charming. And were you blinded by Julie Roberts' smile? She is so radiant. Like, she literally walks into a room, and you can feel her smile. Mm. And when she laughs, you're like, it's real. <gasps> like, you're looking for where she is because it's so, it's so inviting and so lovely to hear. But she is just, just, she's a mother first and foremost, and her kids were on set a lot. And, and what, and so what toothpaste do you think she's using? <laughs> <laughs> the gossip. The Julia and Roberts is. special. Listen, I don't know what it is. Uh, get to. I don't All know. All right, and before we go and tell you that Mirror Mirror opens uh, on March 30th, we will ask Lily Collins, what is your favorite Phil Collins song? Oh, my gosh. Mm. 
I have to be more modern with it and say you'll be in my heart from Tarzan because it was written that's as a, a lullaby to me. Oh, I that's know. Really I just got a little and everyone kind of goes, everyone goes, it's not a classic. I'm like, well, but it's when it's written for, for you. Oh, oh, you gotta yeah. pick that. That's very favorite. good. Oh, Lily, nice wow. to meet nice you. To meet Thanks you so much. Thank, Thank you. Jeez, mom. That was really good. You didn't write one of your parents for you. That was very good. Wow, that is very cool. That was nice. In the air tonight, though. I know. I mean. You gotta love when Mike Tyson does it in the Hangover. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's like a classic. My dad Did they call your now. dad and ask? You know, you know hey, I Mike Tyson is I gonna say. No, I think I called him and was like, Dad, did you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. like, I mean, he was like, what? Yeah. And oh. then that Cadbury's ad, that, that oh, yeah. one, like, best commercial or something, yeah. he sent me that on YouTube. He's like, look how funny this is. <laughs> and I was like, see, you're still relevant. Cause he's Absolutely. Like, sometimes, like, he's like, I, you know, I'm, like, old now. I'm like, no, no Dad, no. you don't understand. <laughs> if a chimp can, like, play your song on a commercial, it's kind of cool. Exactly. Yeah. I know, just you know, saying. Just, yeah. <laughs>